speaking to KAB TV, Sangeeta Chandrasekhar and Sri Meghana of JNTU Hyderabad told that their quad rotor micro air vehicle can lift off vertically and move in the air in different directions. They informed that their micro air vehicle could be used in terms of natural calamities and earthquakes. The students have told that quad rotor could be used for military purposes also. I am Sangeeta Chandrasekhar and this is my co-mate Sri Meghna and uh, we are at JNTU University right now. I am a final year JNTU mechanical engineering student and we built a quad rotor. As you see, it consists of four rotors and all the rotors, two are in clockwise and two rotate in the anti-clockwise direction and due to this the torque is balanced and once I give the enough thrust which opposes the weight and the model lifts up, it flies. This is basically used for spying. Uh, soil testing or you can send it into an area which is down with earthquake yeah, and it's mainly for spying. It's already built by defense and you can see it in the movie Three Idiots so, and um, we are further hoping for the development. Uh, we wanted to fit, a, fit in a radar, radar into system. it and uh, so we can have a mapping. If we send it to an unknown building, we can get the whole map of the building and uh, unknown areas, say for terrorism to uh, you know stop that and to send it to enemy areas that can do for earthquakes. First responders. So, so first responders. So basically it's under development. Uh, we need to develop it. We are waiting for the funds. Uh, will this uh, fly or will it? It is already in flying, which you can see in the next 10 minutes. It's already flying. So, uh, no, what I mean to say, uh, will this fly or will it stand in the air for some time? Or it does hover. It hovers, it flies, it moves. It's more or less like a helicopter. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's light and weight and it can move in all the four directions. The maneuverability is very much than the helicopter. And it's very much balanced because it has four rotors. Mm -hmm. It's quite balanced. Mm -hmm. So it can fly in any direction? Any direction. Forward, backward. An airplane never moves backward. A helicopter never moves backward. But a quad rotor moves backward. And even it can pitch and also roll. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, um, have you tested it? Uh, it's yeah. tested. It's yes. flying. Mm -hmm. You can see it now. And we'll give a demo in another half an hour after the lunch break. What are the results, test results? Test results, yeah, we had a few issues, like for the first one minute, it misbehaves a little. Mm -hmm. And then after the one minute, then the controller acts well and it sends enough power. So that is one difficulty we had faced and quite many crashes. So how did you get this idea? Google, so mainly Google. We've uh, gone through TED Talk and, uh, by Vijay Kumar. You know, a very new topic in our country where it has a lot of scope for development. So like that, uh, we are trying to uh, go for development in this particular thing. It, it actually impressed us a lot because it's easy to build. Not easy actually, it is easy to build but it's a lot more stable and it has far more reach in research and development. So that's why we have chosen this topic. So how much power it takes? Like. It gives a total of 2.5 kg thrust. At around 500 rpm, it takes off normally. Again, if you want more payload, then uh, and it you has can add. The highest it. rpm of 14,500 rpm. So it's very high. You can cut off your finger if you place it. In. For how many hours it can fly? Not hours, just five minutes. It's got a flight time of six minutes. Five to six minutes. Five to six can minutes. this flight time can be? It can. You have to increase the motor. Increase the battery power, indirectly increase the motor, then you have to update the controller. Again, the cost pitches to a heavy range. So we are under restriction for the funds. So. Uh, is it possible to mount cameras? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm going to mount a camera. I will be mounting a camera. What type of camera? Yeah. It's a simple Chinese spy camera for now. You can go for surveilling camera or live cameras. Depending you can fit anything you want. You can go for a video camera or you can only go for image capturing. So it depends. What purpose are you using for? Uh, but, uh, what is the camera's uh, time? Uh, it can uh, work for around an, uh, half an hour, not more than that. Yes. So it can fly up to 5 minutes? Right? It can fly 6 minutes, 29 seconds is a record. It's made. What is the highest altitude it can achieve? 25 feet with my flying. Okay. If a professional flies, it can go towards height of 4 story or 5 story building. I am a new flyer. We are learners, so mm. we have to improve in that. How much it cost you? Uh, including the testing, research 60,000. Because uh, we are flyers, right? Uh, we are we keep to crashing this. it we all keep the time. Crashing it while learning, so it, it costs okay. us a lot. Who uh, have guided it? Um, actually, uh, we had a few friends from MIT. They gave us a few ideas, and our lecturers are always there to guide us. We so take it's guidance It's a combined from them. effort from everybody. From your department. From our department.
जेएनटीयू स्टूडेंट आर एस केतान